Yeah, Shelly, the ballooning community is very tight knit, but some of the people that I did talk to did not want to do an on camera interview, but they did say that toxicology report was a surprise. Now with balloon fiesta really close, balloon pilots here in Albuquerque are emphasizing the safety when it comes to ballooning. Getting to give people a once in a lifetime experience is a normal day at the office for Scott Appleman. The privilege of us being part of those memories that we're creating and filling those bucket lists and being part of that, whether it's at Fiesta or year round, uh, it's just, it's a great honor. For Appleman, even before the deadly hot air balloon crash in June, safety has always been a priority. Uh, Rainbow Riders for the past uh, five years um, has been doing um, second class medicals, drug and alcohol testing. Uh, we do annual flight reviews. Because of the crash, a retired NTSB investigator says there could be new changes. But they may well consider a recommendation to require medical certificates and medical monitor monitoring for balloon pilots, which, of course, increases the complexity and cost uh, of operating these vehicles. Appleman says changes wouldn't surprise him. I would imagine that there might be some changes that are coming from the FAA and the regulatory authorities. So um, I would like to think that the industry will accommodate and support those changes. Um, it's a good investment in the sustainability of hot air ballooning. He says before taking a balloon flight, people should do a little bit of homework. I think what they need to do is to be a smart shopper. You need to bet it out. Check the reviews. Check, uh, call and ask how long people have been in business. Um, ask them what their standards are. Currently, hot air balloon pilots do not need to provide a medical certificate to fly. Live at Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta, Stephanie Muniz, KOAT Action 7 News. Although the pilot's toxicology report did show marijuana and cocaine in his system, the NTSB has not determined the cause of the crash.